The Seven Wonders, it's a brand new series that launched, that launched on February 5th, 2013. I like to think of it as seven plus seven. There are seven books in the series, starting with book one, The Colossus Rises. But in between each book, uh, we're going to produce an e-book. The first e-book actually came out before book one. It's called The Select, and it's a prequel. It's available at uh, seven, sevenwondersbooks.com, where there are all kinds of uh, extras, and videos, and a uh, list of uh, cities that I'm going to on tour. And um, what the series is about is a boy named Jack McKinley, who's taken from his home and brought to a secret island. And along with three other kids, they're told that in order to survive to their 14th birthday, they've got to go around the world and find seven objects that were taken from the ancient civilization of Atlantis and hidden centuries ago in the seven wonders of the ancient world. Well, there's an obvious problem there. Only six, uh, six of those wonders no longer exist, and only one still does, the Great Pyramid of Giza. So how do they do this? That's the central problem of the Seven Wonders. In the first book, The Colossus Rises, they go to Rhodes in Greece where they need to find something called a loculus, which is a sphere that contains a magical power. Now this was hidden inside the great Colossus of Rhodes, which stood astride the harbor, which was gigantically tall, tall enough so that ships could pass underneath it. And they've not only got to find this loculus, but somehow they've got to find the remnants of the Colossus itself and bring it to life. So as this series begins, I'm going on a 15-city tour across the United States. Um, I'll be in many, many, uh, many, many cities that, uh, that are, you can actually access that list on sevenwondersbooks.com. And afterwards, I'll be going overseas. I'm just incredibly excited about, about this series, about all the seven books, and about the, the prequels. And um, I am just delighted to have had this opportunity to be here to tell you about it. Thanks for having me.